mangrove forests are one of the most ecologically valuable ecosystems in the world, and it's quite an important national treasure in Macau. Join us for an exploration of this local treasure and uncover a world full of diversity and dynamics. The world of mangroves. Known in Chinese as Hong Su Lin, mangroves are a unique group of plants that thrive along intertidal and estuarine environments where the land meets the sea. The many adaptations of mangroves to the stresses of flooding and salinity make them quite unique. Strategies like being able to excrete salts from their leaves or exclude salt from entering their roots when taking in water help in their survival. Mangroves do not need salty water to live, but their ability to tolerate it gives them a competitive advantage over other types of plants. Within the forest are a maze of roots and branches, wriggling out of very soft and sometimes smelly mud. Because of hydrodynamic conditions, the soils in mangrove areas are most of the time very soft and water saturated and limit gas exchange, making the conditions highly anoxic. To survive such conditions, mangroves in Macau more commonly have the breathing roots called pneumatophores which look like fingers protruding above the soil surface. These allow mangroves to get the oxygen they need, and the widely spreading horizontal roots they grow out of help anchor the plants in unstable mud. Mangroves are also viviparous. Their seeds germinate while still attached with the parent plant. These seedlings are candle-shaped that can float and attach to sediments and roots when water is shallow enough. This helps mangroves propagate and survive in the very unstable intertidal environment. These remarkable adaptations allow mangrove forests to grow in sheltered tropical and subtropical coastal areas in 123 countries and territories around the world. Macau, despite its small size and highly urbanized environment, is home to a healthy stand of mangrove forests along approximately 4 kilometers of the Taipa Kolowan coastline. It is quite amazing to see an ecosystem like mangroves growing alongside the glitz and glamour of a city like Macau. Compared to more than 70 mangrove species in the world, only seven species survive in Macau, though this does not mean that they are less important. There is the mangrove fern across the Shum Orium, which is very sparse and can mainly be found closer to the land than the sea. The shrub Acanthus illicifolius, commonly called as a sea holly because of its spiny stems and serrated leaves that resemble that of the holly leaves. Bloom in the springtime, creating beautiful purple and white flower fields, a rare delight in a city like Macau. A species with somewhat reddish color, is Aegiceras corniculatum. Also known as the river mangrove. If you are curious to see salt excretion in mangroves, this species would be a very good example. If there are red and black mangroves, there are also gray mangroves like by Avicennia marina. Have you ever seen plants with candle-like structures hanging from its branches? 
This is Candelia obovata. This species is commonly used in restoration projects because it can be easily propagated. Sonarasha apetala, commonly called as a mangrove apple because of its apple-shaped fruits, is an introduced species from China, but originally from Bangladesh. Brugera gymnoriza, commonly known as the large-leafed or orange mangrove, is very rare in Macau, but you can see newly planted samplings along the coastline of Taipa. So what if there are mangroves here in Macau? Why should we care? Because of the soft mud and smell, mangroves didn't have a good reputation in the past and have been negatively described as a wasteland of little or no value. But over the years, researchers have shown and proven that mangroves provide a wide range of benefits to the ecosystem and to us humans. Mangroves significantly contribute to Macau's biodiversity. For one, they provide home and shelter to many aquatic and terrestrial animals and plants. They also serve as breeding and nursery grounds for various aquatic animals, including fishes like mudskippers, crustaceans such as crabs and mollusks. From winter to spring, one can also observe wintering birds in the mangroves because they serve as sanctuaries for local and migratory birds like the endangered species black-faced spoonbill. There are of course plenty of resident birds that are in the forest all year round. Mangroves are also called natural wastewater treatment plants or green kidneys because of their ability to filter pollutants, improving the quality of the coastal waters, causing less impact or damage to marine life. Mangroves are now also getting more attention worldwide because of their role in climate change mitigation and adaptation. Given that Macau is a coastal city vulnerable to impacts of storm surges, Mangroves can help physically protect the coastline by acting as a green wall, buffering the impact of strong waves, thereby preventing and reducing coastal erosion and possible damage to properties, as well as preventing human casualties. Moreover, because of their unique root system and soil conditions, mangroves have the ability to capture and store large quantities of carbon much more than their terrestrial counterparts. Much of this carbon is stored below ground, in the soil and dead roots. For a fast-growing city like Macau, mangroves can also provide ecological balance, give beauty to our shoreline, and provide a space where people, the local community, can commune with nature. Despite their importance, mangroves are marginalized and have been under constant threat worldwide, with an estimated loss of 1-3% to of their global area per year. This loss is mainly attributed to human activities, such as the conversion of mangrove forests to aquaculture and rapid development in coastal areas. Mangroves used to occupy the now freshwater wetland in front of the old Taipa Houses Museum. During the reclamation, the mangrove plants were transplanted from that area to their current home, the Ecological Zone 2 in Kotai. Our forests are generally in good health. 
but still vulnerable to pressures from the rapid and massive development adjacent to where they live. How can we help? Mangroves restoration and management along the coastline of Taipa and Kolowan are being done by the local authorities with success, but there are still other potential sites for restoration. There is hope that through scientific research, public education and awareness, and cooperation of all in the local community, Macau's mangroves will continue to thrive and expand. The next time you visit Macau's coastline, remember these remarkable mangroves and consider what you can do to help protect these natural treasures for the years to come.